Born in Germany in 1951, John Rochelle's parents moved him to Canada as an infant and settled in Toronto, where he grew up in a loving family with one older sister. We used to do a lot of things together. I was very close with my parents. My dad was, he was like so many people in our parents' generation, he's a guy that could do anything. You know, he can build houses and do electrical work and he's a wonderful painter and a very talented guy. And, I used to love to spend time with my dad and, uh, and, he, uh, and, and, and my mother as well. What was it like for this young man growing up in Canada? When I was a, a, a child, and I, I don't think I really liked it too much at the time, but we didn't have a television until I was 13, and that was probably a good thing because it got us out doing other things. Spent a lot of time outside. I was a voracious reader when I was a kid. I, I just read all the time. I actually remember one night my, I'd gone to bed and my mother came into my bedroom and I had the table lamp under the covers and I was still trying to read my book in the middle of the night. Gosh, probably lucky I didn't set my bed on fire, but it was, uh, but it cost us to do a lot of other things than watch television and that was a terrific thing. John credits his father as his earliest mentor, teaching him work ethic and values and he credits others for teaching him along the way. Larry Nichols has been a great mentor for me. He and I have worked so closely together, and you know, I'm proud to say that we don't, always, don't only work together, we're great personal friends. We vacation together, and, and, uh, and so it, it's been, that's been very rewarding. You know, what's really struck me in my career is that as we get older, we don't get a whole lot smarter, but we do get wiser, and I think that wisdom comes from our experiences and watching the experiences of others and also from that mentorship. John went to York University where he graduated with a degree in economics and holds a law degree from the University of Windsor. He met the love of his life when he was a young lawyer when a friend asked if his cousin could join them for dinner. So we were sitting at dinner and I actually didn't know if his cousin was a guy or a woman and I'd never asked and Charlotte came in and sat down and had dinner with us and about uh, 10 months later we were married and and Charlotte's just the I'm really fortunate Charlotte's the best wife a guy could have um, she's uh, so supportive and we have such a good relationship we just have a lot of fun together we're really best friends and and uh, try to spend a lot of time together their son Yorn lives in Florida and is about to graduate with a degree in business. The Rochelles lead an active lifestyle, both publicly and privately. They love to snow ski and hike. John loves to cycle. And of course, they both love the thunder. But what about the quiet side of John Rochelle's? I like to paint once in a while, and I used to do quite a bit more of it. It's something that when I have more time, I will do more of. My dad was a very, or is, a very talented artist, and I don't have you know, a, a fraction of the talent that he has, but I guess what did wear off is at least the, the desire to paint. When we first moved to Oklahoma City, uh, we went to the Prita West uh, at the C uh, National Cowboy Museum with my dad, and we saw this beautiful painting, and we thought, we said, boy, wouldn't that have looked great in the end of our hallway? And he went back to Calgary and uh, after visiting us and took a photograph and painted this wonderful painting. As the original artist is a very famous artist by the name of Ron Riddick. And my dad lives in a smaller house. I don't think he could ever even step more than 10 feet away from it where he painted in his, in his kitchen. And six months later, he drove to Oklahoma City with this painting in a suburban and said, boy, I hope you were serious because here's the painting. So we're really proud of this. This is a original, uh, the original was Ron Riddick, but this is uh, uh, my dad's version of it and uh, we hang it proudly in our home. John's dad taught him always to treat others with dignity and respect, something he wants to pass on to his own son. With his day-to-day -day walk of strong values, integrity, and genuine caring for others, with his co-workers, his charitable causes, his friends, and his family, it is no wonder that this quiet leader, this gentle, affable, thoughtful Renaissance man, is the beneficiary of the Oklahoma City University's Minder School of Business President's Award.